Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. In this critique video, I'd like to look at one of my students' storyboards and I want to focus on drawing technique um, that's going to make everything look a little bit more believable and more 3D. So let's notice that in this one right here, I've got a grid uh, for the ground that doesn't actually work properly. It looks like it's backwards. Also, I've got a bunch of these different trees that are not dissipating into perspective. And then of course, in this second panel, I don't have a character that matches this first one right here. So let's go and get started. What I would like to do is to start by drawing in a horizon line, getting vanishing lines, and I'm having them shrink as they go further upwards so it looks as if this thing is receding away in perspective. Once that's set up, I can go on a different layer and then I can go and draw in a tree that's small because it's higher up. It's further away. I can go further downwards and make a little bit bigger of a tree. And what's going to happen again is um, the, the realism of this being a 3D space is going to be a lot stronger. Now I'm going to go to layer A and use this shape tool and get something like a 20% gray and I'm going to go ahead and paint that in. I can also go above that and I'm going to use my brush tool and I'm going to try to close the shape. So let's use that thing. And let me just go and draw in. Uh, let me get a darker color and I'm going to just draw in some of these shapes right here. And it's going to give this idea that I've got a foreground element and it's a really handy tool. I can also do the opposite by going and drawing in the sun pretty far in the background. Whoops. Let me turn off the fill. Let me undo. And get a couple clouds in there. Now I got one last little Easter egg for you as we finish this video. And um, it's something that we call um, auto mat. So if you right click any layer and then if you have a drawing, if you go to the bottom and you click on auto mat, it's going to fill for you. Okay, so let's go demonstrate. Um, I have two ghosts. One is going to be over here and it's going to be a sad little dead ghost. So if we zoom in and kind of see that, um, what you got to do with auto mat is close the shape so it completely fills. And then if you right click the layer and you generate auto mat, I mean, if you choose the white color paint, there you go. It's going to fill it for you. Super handy, especially if you're going to tone your backgrounds. Also, let's go create another layer right here. And let's draw this sad, shocked ghost who comes and discovers. Oh my goodness, what just happened here? Okay, so again, there's that thing. Press M for Mary, for Matt on the keyboard. And there we go. We've got our auto mat set up. Last thing, let me. Let me go back and remember I said um, we need to draw this character properly. So let's just go do that again. In this case, what I'll do is get some kind of a main circle and draw my character, fill it up properly, get those eyes in there, and then get some kind of a facial expression. Go ahead and get that grid in there, and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, let's draw the character the way the character needs to be drawn. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Go give this a shot. Um, get a grid in there. Go and tone your pages. Use the auto mat function. Make stuff bigger as it's closer to camera, smaller as it's further away, and then your stuff's going to look amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye.